Roller Boogie, 1979. Ooh, great year, Roller Boogie. Starring the queen herself, Linda Blair. Oh, what can I say? Now, I threw in a little You Blade Runner just for fun at the start there. A little background music. So this movie is like non-stop roller skating. Like, I mean, basically, the whole movie is roller skating. But they did manage to squeeze in a little bit of plot. Uh, and the action is terrific, ferocious. And so basically, uh, if you like the disco, if you like the short shorts, if you like the bikinis, if you like the crotch shots, the cleavage, you know, the satin, the leotard, the tights, the knee socks, oh my god, the haircuts, afros, you name it, this this has got it. Like, it's, it's basically, it's a non-stop, visually, it is stunning. Uh, I don't think I saw this at the time. I did roller skate at the time, back in the day, uh, but I think I was more interested in, like, Donkey Kong Jr. But I'm telling you, it's got, it's got it all. And it's, like, kind of, like, like I said, it's just, you just play this on a loop in the background. It's got the thrills, it's got the chills, and you guessed it, the spells. Oh, there you go. And right away we meet Bobby James. And whoa, does this guy ever look like Eric Roberts? Holy smokes. And they waste no time bringing in the gay. Check this out. Wow. So let's meet Linda Blair's character, Terry Barkley. And ooh, she is Richie Rich and some kind of musical protege. Oh my God, award winner. But you know, she prefers those uh, tights and those shorts, those uh, shimmery shorts and the crazy belts. And uh, she wants to go skating. I don't think her family would approve her being so blue blood waspy. Uh, she goes and picks up her friend, Lana, who's a little bit skeptical about roller skating. She's like, what are we going to do next? Surfing? Oh, it's, it's, it's so like... It's for scumbags, right? But she's like, but what the hell? I got a Gucci uh, roller skating bag. So let's do it. Let's hit the beach. And, and you might have noticed something. Uh, you might have noticed two things. Uh, they will be quite prominent in this film. So uh, forgive me. Uh, now check out this car she's driving. Gee whiz. I mean, oh, okay. And I uh, had to get a couple shots of the, uh, that flat stomach there. Oh, mercy. So Terry and Lana head down to the place to be, the boardwalk at Venice Beach. I was there. And there's that hot shot, Bobby James, working at the uh, roller skate rental place. And, uh, oh, the chicks just can't leave him alone. Come on, come skate with me. And he's like, I gotta work. Come on, maybe just for a few minutes. And he's like, oh, okay. And right away, oh, the saunter, the, the, the confidence, the walk. And right away, he's whipping her around, and there's a crowd forming, and he's just doing all these tricks. And uh, Lana and uh, Terry are checking him out, and they're like, mm, maybe, maybe he's got something. And then he grabs another chick and gives her a few uh, few uh, twirls and spins. And there's his buddies. And that one buddy, he's just like so excited. He's like, yeah, yeah, you nailed it. And, uh... Yeah, he's, I guess he's just excited. Hey, I know Bobby James. I'm hanging out with Bobby James. And right away, uh, Bobby James approaches Terry and he says, you're next. And she goes, I, 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 I don't think so. So I like this, the uh, little standoffish, you know, hard to get. Oh, the, the dance begins, right? And her and uh, Terry go for like a, like a snow cone or something. And Bobby James, he's just, he's blown away. He's like, like, what, 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 what's going on here? I'm, I'm Bobby James. Bobby James. I look like Eric Roberts. So back to the snob stuff. So we got a little recital kind of going on, but this is just happening at uh, at Terry's place, and she's playing the flute, and she's got like a little, uh, that's her dad there on the piano, and maybe a little Mozart or something. And this is Franklin, and I guess they kind of, the parents, right, they kind of want their kids kind of to hook up, and he is eyeballing Terry's legs. Ooh, just, oh yeah. And so after they're done, it's time for a little little tea and cakes and dessert. And they're, as they're passing the tray, Franklin here does one of my favorite moves, the old grabbing the snatch. But Terry's like, no way, mister, uh-uh. And she uh, spills all the desserts all over him. 
So Terry's got plans. She sneaks out of there, but she, uh, you know, she changes into her, you know, get up and, uh, oh, and, and there's, there's Franklin. He's waiting for her in the garage and he just grabs her. He can't keep his hands off her and, and who can blame him? She's got those, uh, those leotards and those tights on. Oh, good. Good. Can't keep my hands off them. That's for sure. But she's like, Franklin, you bore me. So she picks up Lana and they head on down to the old, uh, uh roller boogie rink. And all the boys are around. They're like, oh, the Beverly Hills girls, as they pull up. So they're hitting on them hard, but they know in their hearts they don't have a chance. They're all just a bunch of dirtbags. Uh, but Bobby James, he's like, no way, man. I'm going to get her to skate with me, and I'll bet you five bucks. He's like, you're on. So this is a typical night at Jammer's roller boogie roller skating disco rink. And we got some uh, Boogie Wonderland. We got some Earth, Wind, and Fire going down. And oh, the fashions are great. Now, um, I don't know if I'd call these guys kids, but uh, maybe young adults. Young adult fun going down. And uh, oh, this skating. Oh, is outrageous. Oh, and the fashions. Oh my God. We even got like some break dancing going on. Oh, we got some Fly Soul Brothers. Uh, oh, lots of that kind of ABBA look going on. Uh, and, oh, Terry's loving it. She's just like, look at all these freaks. Oh, my God. She loves hanging with the freaks. And I got to include, oh, one more little bit of... Gay. I'm, I'm just speechless. So Bobby James is just like uh, an animal in the jungle stalking his prey. He's just uh, sizing up uh, Terry. And she looks back. She gives him the old look back and then he starts doing his moves his romancing moves and i got this i have to show you these this is incredible stuff actually oh i don't know this is not embarrassing i'm sorry if you can do this that's something you got balance oh and some more uh oh more hotties in the crowd Woo! I like that one with the rainbow suspenders and oh my god consuela over there with the oh very very bosomy ah uh, Oh, but then we got a little of that uh, C.C. Conway. I think it for, stands for Crash Course Conway. And, oh, this guy barely can stand on his feet. And it looks like he's going to, like, take out Terry. And this is uh, where Bobby James, he makes his move. And he comes crashing in and grabs Terry and kind of saves the day. And uh, he's got his arms around her as he pulls her to one of the tables. And she's like, oh, oh, thanks. He goes, oh, I saved you. And uh, she goes, you can let go now. Oh, and this Bobby James, he just won't take uh, no for an answer. He says, no, I won't, not until you, not until you skate with me. But it turns out that uh, Terry does actually want a few uh, roller skating uh, dancing lessons. And she knows that Bobby James, he's the best on the boardwalk. So she says, I'll even pay ya. So Bobby is feeling a little emasculated there. But what the hell? When you want to skate with a chick, that's good stuff. So they're out. It's a couple's only dance, too. And then they're out there and they kind of got their arms around each other. So hey, slowly, you know, like I said, first base. And Bobby wastes no time. He's picking her up and he's spinning her in the air. Oh, Lord, what a move. Uh, and, uh, oh, but she's got a little problem with her skate. So they got to go get those skates tightened. Meanwhile, Gordo is just hitting on that Lana and she's like, ah, oh, give, him, give him no time. So Bobby James wastes no time. He's got the compliments. He's got the moves. He's got the handsome face going on. He's hitting on Terry pretty hard, but she's used to it. So she kind of rolls her eyes and she's back on the dance floor with a couple other dudes. And again, Bobby James is just like, what? What am I doing wrong? Again, we're back to the good life. And it seems that uh, Terry's parents have uh, left for the weekend, gone to Palm Springs or something. And uh, she wasn't sure. She was like, what? They didn't even tell me. And she was all kind of bummed out. And Ada, the maid, she says, oh, do you want me to stay over? You don't want to be alone? And she goes, oh, no, no, no. And she's all, all bugged out. She's all wigged out. I'm like, Terry, what the hell? So what? You got a nice big house. Can't sleep alone one night. Oh, crybaby. And the skating dirt bags are working out there on the beach. 
And Terry is in kind of a bit of a mood. Uh, you know, Franklin and Lana, they're like uh, kind of saying, hey, what's going on? You know, you're kind of acting a little weird. And uh, she's kind of, you know, in this kind of almost runaway mood or something. And, you know, just that rebellious youth. Oh, and I do dig that kind of poodle hair. It's great. And Bobby James is doing his little skating practice. Uh, who's uh, kind of blew off the boys working out. He says, you know, you know my routine. I got to, I mean, he's got Olympic ideas on his mind. But uh, yeah, he's got to practice. He's got to practice. And he's bummed out because uh, he got the big brush off from uh, uh, the rich, the rich girl. And here's one more shot of Franklin and Lana. Because cause they're so concerned. And, uh, and I think that Lana... She's, she's more concerned. So Terry skates by old Bobby James there. And, oh, she looks like she is in a prowling mood. She is strutting her stuff. Bobby James trying to, now he's playing hard to get. And, uh, yeah, they get on the, get on the, uh, on the bench there and have a little chit chat. And it's pretty good. And again, this is kind of where we learn about, you know, perhaps Bobby James has some kind of skating, maybe even Olympic uh, aspirations. You know, that's cool. Terry thinks it's cool. And, uh, yeah, so they're flirting hard and they're like, okay, let's hang out. And sure enough, they're in, you know, t going for a dip in the water and they're having their kind of like a little, little first date, I suppose. And oh, and right away, they're making out on the beach. This is like, uh, from here to eternity. This is hot stuff. This is iconic. But I'm going to say it, Bobby James, he's got a Big mouth. I guess he's used to being in control. He's not used to the, those high society ladies. And Terry gives him a slap. He's like a little bit too forward. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say what he said. A little bit. It was a little even too much for me. And uh, so Terry is off. And of course, Bobby James chases her. But uh, and there is Lana and Franklin. And he's like, Hey, what? Are you, maybe it's time to push off there. Buster, you beach bum there. And uh, so Terry drives away and uh, and, and Bobby James is all pissed off with Frank. He says, I told you not to touch me. And he bops him in the head or in the face, in the nose. And uh, oh, he's like, oh, I think my nose is broken. And uh, this Franklin turns out he's like, he's going to be a punching bag. Uh, he's basically, uh, Lana like tossed him in the, uh, in the uh, pool. I didn't even show that, bother showing that shot. And uh, earlier... Terry, like, uh, stole his towel, and he was, like, buck naked. So, Franklin the punching bag. And so, basically, now they're stuck. Stuck at the beach. And any excuse, really, to get a picture of Lana. Oh, it looking looking fine in those pink shorts. Uh, the boys, they'll, they'll take him in the truck. They'll take him to the hospital. Well, they'll drive him home. So, here we're going to start getting some uh, real, like, in-depth you know, what's going on? What's going on in that uh, musical genius mind of Linda Blair behind all the spandex, right? And, uh, you know, so she's going through a phase, right? She's like, uh, she's going off to Juilliard, right? New York, uh, you know, because she's so uh, wonderful at playing her flute. And, uh, you know, mom is the typical mom. She's got a purse full of narcotics. And, uh, you know, she feels a migraine or something coming on. And, uh, you know, Terry's just like, you just don't understand. You know, you know, uh, you know, I'm just not doing what I want. Wants to have fun, of course. Who doesn't? So, you know, school, that's just like a whole other life away, right? So, but she says, for now, what I want to do is win the roller boogie contest. And like I said, so she's in the, uh, Terry's in that rebellious kind of runaway mode. So she puts on some, uh, I don't know, grease pants or something, but looking, looking pretty, yeah, I don't know, maybe Pat Benatar is a better way to describe it. And, uh, so she gets in her car and she's driving around and then it looks like she's going to like, goes down to the beach, basically beach area. And she's going to sleep in her car. And I'm just like, is this like, do people do this? Uh, maybe back in 1979. But, uh, ooh, I, I wouldn't recommend this. But, uh, yeah, it looks like she's, uh, she's uh, basically parked in front of Bobby James's apartment. She's going to have a little snooze right in your car there in a convertible. Wild, wild. Different times. I'm going to say different times. And I love this part coming up here. So it's the next morning. Sun's come up, and the uh, payphone is ringing. This uh, just loser, Joker, just kind of skating by. He sees the phone ringing, hears it, I guess, and picks it up. And he's like, hello? Who's this? And uh, basically he says, uh, oh, he sees there's, uh, he goes, look up. 
uh, there's uh, Bobby James. He goes, are you Bobby James? He goes, there's a phone call for you. And Bobby James is like, what the hell? Okay. So he comes down. And of course, there you go. You got Terry. Oh, rich girl. She's got the uh, the phone in the car. And she's phoning Bobby James. He turns around and he's all freaked out. And he's like, oh. And I just think this is great. And I, this reminded me, too. This was of my friend. I think his name was Murray. Yeah, it was Murray. And, uh, yeah, we went down to California. And, uh, oh, God, Murray. He used to drive around with a phone in his car like this. Like, it's not plugged in. It didn't work. But he would always, like, pick it up at, like, the red lights or whatever. And, you know, what he's, oh, there's a chick there. I'm going to and pretend he's talking on the phone. Oh, this guy had all the moves. I learned a few from that, Murray. That's for sure. So Terry takes out... Bobby James for breakfast and uh, you know she's like uh, now she's kind of sweet talking Bobby James romancing him saying you know I want to you know she apologizes of course for slapping him and kind of running off and you know Bobby James he's no fool he's like I noticed that you know there's something going on there you know like come on uh, spill spill the beans there uh, Richie Rich and so really, in a nutshell, Terry, you know, she just wants to have fun this summer and she just wants to learn, you know, to skate. And, you know, this whole idea of this guy, you know, this roller boogie contest, you know, dance contest, whatever. She just wants to, you know, like I said, she just wants to have fun this summer. And who doesn't? Summer is about fun. So oh, after a little bit of negotiations and, you know, if I'm going to teach you to skate, it's going to be on my terms. It's not about the money. So again, you know, like I said, the, this, uh, this relationship is uh, getting a little complex, but uh, it's good. They're being very honest and uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. Meanwhile, Mr. Barkley, he's thinking his daughter ran away and he's on the phone. He's going crazy. What the hell? I love this this girl of mine and oh what do what you gotta do find this girl he's freaking out and then we got a little bit more of uh you know some uh uh skating kind of dance move teachings and again a little bit of hijinks a little bit of falling on your butt and uh you know some kind of you know a little little progress a little progress made there and some and some cuddling a little bit of snuggling and as the, uh, you know, the sun is going down, a little, little hand holding, a little kissing. Very romantic. And it's back to Jammer's roller rink for some more boogie disco skating action. And we got some more kissing. And we got Terry falling on her ass. We've got bodysuits and more choreographed routines. So let's just check out some of the highlights. Oh, incredible. Now the action really begins. Now, these kids over here, they look kind of out of place. Hmm, this is not typical roller boogie skate outfits, that's for sure. Hmm. And they don't even have roller skates on. So, hmm, something is up here. They head on up to Jammer Delaney's office. He is the owner of the roller boogie rink. And there's Jammer. And he doesn't look too happy seeing these hoods. And sure enough, they turn out to be gangsters. This guy over here, he's a little bit too handsome, if you know what I mean. So Phones, Bobby James, and Terry head on up looking for a part for Terry's skate. Phones is pretty sure it's up there on that top shelf. And he accidentally hits record on his little, uh radio tape player and he looks into Jammer's office and he sees the gangsters threatening Jammer. Why won't you sell Jammer they say. You're the last one on the block. We made you a nice offer. You better take the deal if you know what's good for you. Who knows? Maybe there'll be like a little accident. Maybe a little fire and smoke and who knows? Maybe even some kids in spandex will be in the building at the time. Who knows? He's, who knows? He's just speculating. 
So Phones tells Bobby James and Terry, check this out, something's going down. And look at that gun, it's already cocked. He's got this pointed at James, or at uh, Jammer's, Jammer's head. And uh, there's uh, Bobby James and Terry checking it out. And they're like, oh my God, oh my God, he's threatening Jammer. And, and Terry, she has never been so frightened in her entire life. And Jammer's hitting the scotch. The kids don't know what to do, so they say, let's go find the others and, like, uh, let's all put our heads together. Now, Lana drives up to the rink, and she's looking for Terry. And Hoppy here, I think, has the best line of the entire movie. Well, it was my favorite line, and so, uh, prepare. This is great. Hey, have you guys seen Terry Barkley? Nope. So how you doing there, Twin Peaks? Ready for some mountain climbing? Amazing. But does even Lana's not even phased for a second. She goes, okay, well, let's get in, you guys, and let's uh, let's hit the beach. Let's look for him. So Jammer is all wasted, and he's like, he goes, give me that mic from the DJ. And he's like, okay, you kids, get out of here. You heard me. Get out. Shutting it down. But then he apologized. He's like, I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. So the kids uh, all notice that uh, everybody's leaving the, the rink. Like, what's going on? And there's C.C. Conway. He's saying, something's up, man. Jammer's closing the rink. And they're like, what? But then phones, uh, Bobby James and Terry show up, and they, they explain what's going on with the gangsters. They figure what, uh, what Jammer really needs is a good lawyer. And Lana says, well, Terry's dad is a lawyer. And she's like, oh, oh I don't. I think so. Uh-uh. I'm a runaway. But then they all kind of give her like the puppy dog look like, oh, what are, where are we going to skate? Like, come on. And she goes, oh, okay. So I quickly wanted to recap the series of events that just took place here. They were just like uh, mind boggling. Uh, serendipity, something, some kind of divine intervention took place here at the roller rink. We had the skate fail. Uh, from Terry, and uh, this actually led to all the dancers on the floors who were just boogieing on up. They were just loving it, and they all fell on their ass. It was quite a comical moment. So they had to go get a part from Bones, who didn't have it at the main counter. And this is why they had to go upstairs, and it just so happened that part was on the top shelf Phones climbs up there accidentally, right, records the uh, the shakedown, the gangster stuff. And at this point, the Phones doesn't know he's got everything on tape. Incredible. Incredible. So the parents are going out of their mind. Terry has been gone for a day, so she's probably pregnant. Uh, but then Terry comes home, and there's a big hug. Oh. So in a way, all is forgiven. Uh, but Terry has a favor to ask of her father. Uh, she has friends that need legal advice. And he's just like, ah, oh, call on Monday. She goes, oh no, it's important. He needs it now. And so the mom, ooh, a little naive, she says, okay, why don't you invite your friends over to the big recital party we're having tomorrow? And, uh, well, I wouldn't say reluctantly, but... Terry agrees, and then they can talk to her father about the legal advice. So, you know, we got one of those, the snobs and the slobs. And uh, the skate rats, they show up and, oh, couldn't re really make too much of an effort there. But Robert James, at least he put on a blazer. Uh, phones? Okay, he's got a bow tie. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give uh, C.C. Conway uh, the props here. He's the most decent there. He's got a little bow tie on as well. He looks pretty sharp. He looks pretty hip. Uh, I mean, Gordo and Hoppy. Oh, come on, you guys. You're just, you're just an embarrassment. So pretty fancy, fancy pants. Uh, so, you know, something's going to go down. And I'm happy to see that Gordo got a good line there. Right away, they uh, kind of basically attack kind of the, the, the buffet and Robert James accidentally kind of grabs Gordo's, Gordo's arm and uh, his little uh, bite-sized food goes flying. And he goes, you made me drop my horse, Doover. But Robert James, he spots the old handsome guy from the roller rink. What are the odds? Like I said, again, what is going on here? The coincidences are phenomenal. 
So the big recital begins with the flautist. Teresa Barkley. And, oh, it doesn't take long before everybody's in the pool. Yep, the dirty skate rats can't not be dirty skate rats for even five minutes. But here's that C.C. Conway. And like I said, he's looking, he's looking sharp. He's looking decent enough. But he spots the two gangster hoods, the goons. And uh, they're like kind of, they're, they're onto the whole, the skate, something's up. And he tosses them in the pool. He, quick thinking from C.C. And Terry is just furious, and Robert, he is apologizing. But at this moment, you can tell, you know what I mean? Like, you know, wrong side of the tracks. And, well, Robert James, sorry, you're Bobby James from now on. You know, it was fun while it lasted, but, you know, from two different worlds. This, this really was the moment where, you know, like, you could tell the breeding, the upbringing, Ooh, what, what can you do? And C.C. Conway, with more of his uh, physical humor, lands in the cake. And, uh, well, you know what? This, this wasn't as funny as him roller skating, I'll be honest. But, you know, it was, you know, what the hell? The cake was there. And Terry's parents as well were in the pool. And, you know, what can you say? A big disaster. You know, this is what happens when you try to help the unwashed. But the jig is up, because it turns out that Terry's father is Mr. Thatcher, Mr. Handsome, uh, his lawyer. And this is like a $10 million deal, real estate deal. And he's furious with Terry for making these crazy accusations. And Terry is completely bummed out that her father doesn't believe her. And he actually insists that she apologize to Mr. Handsome. She goes, I won't apologize to that lion bum. And he dad smacks her smack right across the face. Oh, that looked good. And oh, Terry's just furious. He basically just shrugs his shoulders. Kids nowadays. Boardwalk cop Sergeant Danner with the shorts and the bicycle looked into uh, Jammer Delaney's real estate deal and it's it's all legit he signed the papers so the gang's all bummed out and you can tell that uh, bobby james he's still ouching so close so close to the brass rings right but uh, goro says come on maybe she was too rich for you maybe you're not classy enough and then Bobby James heads to uh, Jammer's roller rink there. And I gotta admit, I do like this jacket. This jacket looks pretty slick. I would wear this. I'm not kidding. This is good. And uh, Jammer, he's uh, all drunk and, you know, feeling bad, right? Because he was in the roller derby, right? He's old school, you know, hurt his knees, can't roller skate anymore. That's why he was, you know, this was part of his youth. And uh, so it hurts, and he can't stop the drink. And th this is a little bit weird, but Bobby James, he's going to dedicate this little skate, this little performance, to Jammer. And I'll be honest, you know, no, no guy has ever done this for me. But I would be a little bit flattered if someone did. I think he could have picked a better song, personally. So let's just roll a couple of clips. I mean, I'm sorry, this guy can skate. Like, it's actually outrageous. But then we hear some clapping. Someone was watching Bobby James. And it was Terry. She came down to see him. Oh, Bobby's now, he's a realist. He's like, you know, it just wouldn't work. And Terry's like, but I love you, 
Bobby. Oh, it's just, you know, it's, oh, what can you do? Something's come between them, right? Going in two different directions. So Bobby James strikes, you know, a, a sexy pose in his white pants and no shirt. And we hear Terry's voice. She writes him a letter. Basically, the parents are sending her off to New York. Her, you know, her shenanigans are, are just too much. Too much. And so it's time to go to New York or Juilliard. And Bobby James, he's just like, you know, he got a taste. He got a taste of that, that sweet, sweet wine. But it's back to soda pop, if you know what I mean. So Bobby James kind of gets out of his melancholy mood. And he goes back to the gang, hanging out. And he's like, hey, what's happening? You know, hey, what's the deal? Why well, you got Phones' uh, music player there? And they mentioned that uh, Phones is like, he's not going to boogie anymore. And he's joined this, like, it looks like the Hare Krishnas or something, right? Some kind of cult on the beach. There's a little wave there. So Hoppy's just playing the music, and, uh, oh, and it happens to be the tape with the gangsters threatening Jammer, and, and basically Bobby recognizes, and he goes, we got him, yeah, we got him, we got evidence, all right, the boogie contest is on tonight, tell the gang. And one of Mr. Handsome's, uh, uh, goons there has been following Bobby, you know, and he hears, so he knows there's some evidence, and he's like, okay, he calls the boss. Hey, Mr. Handsome, we got troubles. And Terry is packed, and she is ready to go to New York. And there's Franklin, he's got the bandage on the nose, for when uh, Bobby James gave him a little punch. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't mind that Franklin, you know. He did have the uh, the busy hands, if you remember. And his eyes are a little bit kind of too far apart. But you know what? In the end, he was okay. He was kind of harmless. And Bobby James shows up and he grabs Terry and he says, Come on, let's go. We got the tape. We got the goods. Again, Franklin Budinsky's like, Ah, get your hands off her. And Bobby James makes quick, quick work of Franklin. And he just tosses him in the back of the Rolls Royce and shuts the trunk. So they head off to uh, Jammers, and uh, Lana says she's coming along. And I'm like, oh, good, thank goodness. And then, of course, as they drive off, we get the camera zooming in on the trunk, and it's like, let me out of here. Funny stuff. So all the kids are just, like, talking to Jammer. He's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to Arizona. Sorry, kids. And they're all like, oh, but, you know, Jammer, what about the big boogie contest, right? When they've been practicing, gee whiz, like, all year waiting for this, this boogie contest it's the event of the summer and then we get the puppy dog look from uh, terry and bobby james and jammer he, he can't take it he's an old softy so he says okay one more night we'll have the contest and you can see so everybody's like thrilled and happy and, and lana's right in there i guess i guess she's like you know slumming it i guess she's getting into it she's like oh, yeah these guys are freaks but Thatcher and the uh, the gangster goons, they're they're onto the whole skate scene, and uh, they've come for the tape. But Bobby James, he's got a plan. Quick thinking, he says, "Okay, C.C. Uh, Conway, you go get uh, Detective Tanner uh, and meet us at the rink. Uh, we'll we'll meet you there as well." And all the kids start throwing fruit at the gangsters, and they're like getting covered in tomatoes and and stuff. So now the limo is in hot pursuit, and they are speeding away. They're going down side streets trying to trying to lose the limo, right? And uh, there's a great scene where this guy's like cutting some wood in the back alley, and they look like they're gonna get blocked in, but oh, the wood turns into a ramp, and they get some like some serious air here. Like I'm going, holy smokes, impressive! And so they basically jump over the limo, and they make their way down the hill, and they get some, like I said, get some serious speed. I'm telling you. And uh, Terry and Bobby James, they duck into the marina skate park. And there is a lot of skate action going on. But the uh, the gangsters, they're right on their tail. And uh, like, seriously, on their tail. But once again, that Bobby James, holy smokes, he's got a plan. Duck behind the old trash bin. They'll never find us. And oh, just to, just to add insult to injury, here's a bit of a cheeky move. He says, let's catch a free ride. So they're holding on back to the limo, and the limo, of course, kind of drives to uh, Jammers. But once inside Jammers, 
uh, Thatcher and his goons got them cornered, and they pull out the guns, and they're like, okay, you bunch of weirdos, give me the tape. And believe it or not, C.C. Conway, oh, I start to love this guy. He saves the day once again. I mean, it's the same exact move. It can't stay on his feet, but he crashes into the two goons and basically clobbers everybody. Bobby James quickly jumps on Mr. Handsome there, grabs the gun, and just then, Sergeant Tanner shows up, the cops, and this is probably the first time in my life I was happy to see a cop. Now, Terry's dad shows up, right, because he is Thatcher's lawyer, but uh, phones can't stop the phones. He puts on the tape, and everybody hears the threatening gangster. And so basically, uh, being your lawyer, I'm going to advise you that this contract is invalid, and everybody's happy. All the cheers go round, and even uh, Jammer gets a, gets a little sugar there, a couple of nice squeezes, and uh, Thatcher there, he takes him away. Sergeant Tanner takes him away. So the, the, the freaks, they did it. Little skate rats outsmarted the gangsters. Saved the day. And you guessed it, it is time for the boogie contest. So let's check out some of the talent. Ooh, it looks like we got Latoya over here. But I didn't come to see those jokers. I came here to see Bobby James and Terry. Oh, and they got some sick moves, and all their friends are having a great time. Hoppy couldn't be bothered to wear a shirt, and uh, some some little choreography there. And even the parents, even the parents are getting into it. Ah, uh, Linda Blair, lovely. But I gotta show you this move, because I was like, whoa, she, she learns fast. So just a little bit more from the movie, some clips. <laughs> And, oh, and the suspense is killing me. It's time to pick the winner. And it's Bobby James and Derry Barkley. Oh, they did it. Oh, fantastic. All that work. All that work uh, paid off. Fantastic. Celebrations all around. But, you know, the good times, they can't last forever, right? People are going in different directions and the summer is over. And we see the big, the big goodbye from... Uh, Terry and Bobby James and you know she's off to New York you know I mean she's talented she's a talented flute player but that's okay because she's got Bobby James Bobby James's address in her flute case and uh, uh and he's got hers and she wants him to have the trophy and she kind of gets a little bit teared up and there's a big hug and a kiss and uh but you know who knows what's and you know, Bobby James, you know, he's got Olympic dreams too. So everybody's everybody's dreaming here, right? People just got to move forward and just enjoy, you know, the time they had together. And and Bobby James says, hey, Terry, you never know. Maybe I'll make it to New York. And as she's driving away, again, she gives him a little look back. And Bobby James holds up the trophy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wagging his finger. Yeah, they did it. They did it. They defied the odds and they hooked up. And roll the credits, and oh, it's just great as he uh, skates into the distance. I love Roller Boogie. You know what I mean? 4.6 on IMDb. Oh, that's, that's a travesty. I don't understand who is getting to vote here. Um, I'm sorry, 10 out of 10. This gets another 10 out of 10. I think you're starting to realize, uh, basically, the movies I talk about are the movies I really, really enjoy. I'm not just in there, oh, look how bad this movie is. That's not my style. That's not why people came come here. And, uh, and while we're at it, uh, I do like that IMDb. Rotten Tomatoes is probably one of the shittiest websites I've ever been to. I've, I've been there maybe twice. Terrible, terrible. Never, ever go. So there could be some more Linda Blair in the future. We'll see. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. I've got a couple more ideas I'm going to go through. Uh, but uh, we're going to end this on a, you know, on another kind of on a cool note. So I'm going to just roll some credits. I'm going to play some Red Cross, uh, the song Linda Blair. Uh, but I don't want to play the whole, sing whole thing because, you know, I mean, who knows? They might get pissed off. But I love Cred Red Cross. They're, oh, a bunch of crazy bastards. And uh, so I hope they don't get mad. But I'll just play just a little bit of Linda Blair.
to end this out. And I have a feeling they like Linda Blair more than me. In the exorcist, baby, you were really insane. Got busted, got busted, you got busted for the pain.